Hey guys, welcome back to News to the Sinus, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. Ronnie here, and today we're going to be covering some more Spider-Man news. Specifically, the other supporting characters are going to be set to appearing in Spider-Man 3 in the MCU. Uh, we already had confirmation that Doctor Strange is going to be appearing alongside Spider-Man in the MCU in Spider-Man 3. Uh, as far as what his role will be and how much of a role he'll play in the movie remains to be unclear. But we just got some more news that another Avenger may be making an appearance. And then I'll go ahead and discuss my opinion on that matter right after reading this article from WeGotThisCovered.com. But before I get into that, I just want to go ahead and tell you guys to please subscribe. I noticed that 52.3% of you guys who are subscribed watch my videos. And 47.8% of you guys who are not subscribed watch my videos. So let's go ahead and fix that up and go ahead and increase that number. Uh, I am very happy with this channel. Um, I've gotten a substantial amount of subscribers within the past 28, 30 days now. 81 plus subscribers recently subscribed to my channel, 268% increase. And then go ahead and turn on that bell notification because only 24.9% of you guys um, have that notification on. If you, turn, if you turn it on, you'll never miss a thing. I post videos daily, just like I'm doing now. And lastly, join my Discord. Got plenty of cool people there you can talk to. I post updates, I communicate with everybody here, I have channels that you can go ahead and talk to other people, there are plenty of cool people like yourself there, you know, whether you want to talk about memes, comics, movies, superheroes, Spider-Man, Marvel, whatever, you name it, it's all there, and that's pretty much everything I wanted to throw in as far as, you know, plugging myself out there. So anyways, let's go ahead and get back to the article where we were talking about another Avenger could possibly be joining Spider-Man 3. So in the We Got This Covered website, it says at this stage, trying to predict who will be the next character announced for Spider-Man 3 is a fool's errand. Up until last week, you have been laughed out of the building if you told people that Jamie Foxx would be returning as the Amazing Spider-Man 2's Electro. Not exactly the one, same one from the Amazing Spider-Man 2, he won't be blue, but it is confirmed that he will be returning as a villain. While Benedict Cumberbatch's Doctor Strange would have been an outside bet as well before the most recent batch of casting confirmations. All things considered, it looks very likely that John Watts' threequel will be diving headfirst into the multiverse, despite Spider-Man 3 arriving three months ahead of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Of course, the Marvel Cinematic Universe will be introducing the idea of alternate realities long before that when WandaVision debuts on Disney Plus at the end of the year, and the show is poised to have major implications for all the Phase 4's output. Elizabeth Olsen's Scarlet Witch is already taking second billing in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and we now heard from our sources, the same ones that told us Thor Love and Thunder will be adapting Jane Foster's cancer storyline months before it was confirmed by Natalie Portman that Wanda Maximoff will also be dropping by in Spider-Man 3. Side note, I'm also going to be doing a video on Thor Love and Thunder tomorrow. I've been doing a lot of Spider-Man videos. Uh, I'm not feeling any Spider-Man fatigue or anything. It's just that all of my videos have been really Spider-Man related. And he's been getting a lot of attention where when it comes to like movies, games, and all that stuff like that. And that's awesome. But there's just nothing but good news coming out for Spider-Man. And um, as far as the cancer storyline that was mentioned here... I don't think they're going to be going through with that and following it. They might be even making changes, uh, even post-production. But that's a story and a video for another time. So continuing on with the article and finishing it up, and then I'll go ahead and uh, wrap it up by giving my thoughts about the idea of another adventure joining the movie. According to our intel, Olsen is already in talks with the studio about reprising the role, which shouldn't come as much of a surprise given what we know so far. Scarlet Witch is clearly being set up as one of the most important characters in Phase 4, that would look to live up to her billing as the MCU's most powerful superhero. And with WandaVision connecting directly to the Sorcerer Supreme sequel, not to mention Doctor Strange lending support in Spider-Man 3, the connections between the three projects are simply too obvious to ignore. Now, to give my input about Scarlet Witch, Wanda joining Spider-Man 3, I don't see that as something happening. I, don't, I think that's more than less than likely for uh, that to occur. Um, and look at this fan picture that somebody made. This is pretty cool. I actually like this concept. It just shows Tobey Maguire's version of Spider-Man coming through the uh, portal. In, uh, and right behind it, you can see the Sanctum Sanctorum right there where Doctor Strange stays. The idea of like another Avenger joining, I don't want this to be a Spider-Man and Friends situation. This is strictly a Spider-Man movie. I understand that Spider-Man, even Spider-Man needs support and help from other Avengers. But the fact that they're throwing another Avenger in there, um, it's going to make the movie seem a little over-convoluted. This has not been confirmed either, but 
the last few videos I, videos I did was on Doctor Strange making an appearance and officially being on board on Spider-Man 3 for the MCU. Even Vincent D'Onofrio expressed interest, but that's only expressed interest. So take it with a grain of salt because even Craven the Hunter might be in the film. We already have Electro coming and it's going to be set to appear in the film. And there's going to be a lot going on. So this movie would have to be very long and the biggest and best Spider-Man movie there is out of the threequels. So I'm just saying um, we don't really need more supporting characters. But if you're going to go ahead and add Wanda Scarlet Witch in the film, she should have like at least a cameo appearance or anything like that. Because if she's going to be a supporting character, she would be she would best fit into the Doctor Strange sequels. It'll be Doctor Strange in the multiverse of madness where she would fit more maybe she can make a cameo appearance towards the end of the spider-man film maybe she can appear in the middle of the film who knows but we don't need more avengers because i i feel like if we have a lot of avengers showing up in a spider-man movie they can kind of like overshadow the main character peter parker spider-man because remember spider-man's identity was revealed in spider-man far from home and we don't want that main plot to be overshadowed by a lot of characters and it just gets convoluted with all of that being thrown in there so i mean i don't think we should have another supporting character as it is dr strange is a really cool character and he's a main character he's an avenger and he has his own movies so we don't want a lot of those characters to overshadow spider-man because this is still a spider-man movie and it's his story so that's just my take uh take all this with a grain of salt Honestly, uh, nothing is said and done. Nothing's confirmed. The only thing that's been confirmed is Benedict Cumberbatch's involvement and uh, inclusion in Spider-Man 3. And also Electro confirmed to return as Electro from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. But I'm not sure if he's been confirmed as one of the villains in Spider-Man 3. And with all that being said, guys, this was a pretty short one. I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick video on this. What do you think about WandaVision possibly showing up? What do you think about Wanda Scarlet Witch possibly showing up in Spider-Man 3 as a supporting character? How do you think her role would... How do you think her character would fit into this movie? What kind of an impact or a role will she have in this film? I got a lot of questions that need answering. So you go ahead and let me know your thoughts. Post your theories. I'd like to read them as well. I love to read your theories and thoughts. If you have a chance and if you have the time, go ahead and do so. So put your comments down in the comment section below. I'll take the time to read them myself and check it out. And with all of that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. And as always, I will see you all in the next comic panel.